What's good, guys? This story is coming out of Owensboro, Kentucky, which is in Davis County, Kentucky, uh, and not too far from where I live in the great state of Kentucky. So shout out to everybody who lives in Kentucky. Now, two teens were shot and killed in Owensboro just last week. And a 16 year old has been charged with one of these murders. It says two teenagers were shot and killed in Owensboro in a four day period last week. The death investigation went underway Wednesday afternoon of last week after a female was found shot to death on Willett Road, which borders and traverses Ben Hall State Park. Initially, the victim was not identified by authorities, but they now have found out that it is 16 year old Gay Meepaw of Owensboro, and she was transported by ambulance to the emergency room where she later succumbed to her injuries. Now, the Davis County Sheriff's Office Criminal Investigations Unit charged her former boyfriend, who was also 16, with her murder. He was lodged in the Warren County, Kentucky Regional Juvenile Detention Center, which is in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and is the closest uh, juvenile detention facility that we have. Gay Me Pa was a student at Owensboro High School. And I'm not going to get into the other um, crime because this one is, it, it's so sad. Now, what makes this story just horribly sad is that Gamey Paul, her family is of Karini descent. She was born in Thailand and came to the United States 12 years ago with her father and brother. She was recently named Student of the Month at Owensboro High School and had plans to become a teacher and had already mapped out some particulars of her education. She had a passion for volleyball, participated in volleyball camps, played at Burns Middle School, and was practicing for the next season with the intention of playing for Owensboro High School. Although her driving ability was concerning, she had recently gotten her learner's permit. She had just started a job with a program that is a collaboration of the International Center, Owensboro Public Schools, and Owensboro Community and Technical College, in which she was caring for younger children of refugee families. She was of Catholic faith and attended, attended St. Pius Catholic Church. She thoroughly enjoyed swimming, shopping, good eyelashes, very spicy food, and mint chocolate chip ice cream. She was thought of as the best sister and generally a happy person. Uh, she's survived by her father, Mi Ray, her brother, Lulu, extended family, and her Owensboro family, including Peter, Ashley, Charlotte, and Max Hurley. Now, there was a funeral mass that was held for her yesterday on the 26th. And it saddens me because they have now charged another juvenile in this crime. And the article says that the Davis County Sheriff's Office has made another arrest in connection with the murder of Gay Me Paul. According to the department, a 17-year-old juvenile male from Owensboro has been charged in connection with the murder for tampering with physical evidence, possession of a handgun by a minor, and unlawfully providing or permitting a minor to possess a handgun. And he has also been transported to the Warren County Regional Detention Center in Owensboro. Now, Gay Me Paul was found murdered near Ben Halls Park on Wednesday, which would have been the 21st. And she was found at around 12.30 p.m. Not a.m., p.m. And they called the ambulance company. The ambulance company came, arrived on the scene, transported her to the emergency room, which is where she later passed away. I just think it's really sad um, the way this all unfolded. I'm going to go ahead and catch the video for this. And there's a second person in custody this morning in connection to the Owensboro murder of 16-year-old Gamey Paw. The Davis County Sheriff's Office says the person is 17 years old and that the teen is facing charges of tampering with evidence, possession of a handgun, and providing a minor with a gun. 
Last Thursday, police arrested another teen in connection to her murder. We now know the funeral services for that 16-year-old shot and killed will start to uh, be this weekend. So let's break it down here. Gamey Paws visitation is set for a Sunday afternoon from 2 to 6. And there will be a prayer at 5.30. This is all at the Glen Funeral Home in Owensboro. And then on Monday, another visitation will be at St. Pius X Catholic Church from 9 to 10 with a mass to follow. Her burial will follow the mass at St. Anthony's Catholic Church. Deputy say Paul was found shot in Ben Haas Park earlier this week. Authorities say she was taken to the hospital where she later died. The sheriff says a minor is suspected of pulling the trigger. He's, his name has not been released, but we do know he's charged with murder, tampering with physical evidence, and possession of a handgun by a minor. Now, I also want to say that they had two visitations for Gay Me Paul. Uh, one was Sunday afternoon at the Glen Funeral Home in Owensboro. The other took place at St. Pius Catholic Church on Monday, yesterday. And it says that she was found shot near Ben Hoss Park earlier this week. And the sheriff says a minor is suspected of pulling the trigger and killing her. Now, of course, they're not going to release the name of the minor who is being charged, or minors, rather, um, because that is against Kentucky state law. But I am going to follow this case. It is shameful that this young girl, who was absolutely beautiful, died in this way. And um, I definitely wanted to bring this to the channel. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.